hello lovely people and welcome back to roma's kitchen so today i'll be showing you how to make these sweet and spicy sorrel wings this is just a different way to use your extra sorrel and it's pretty easy to make and it's very delicious so if you want to see how these sweet and spicy wings gets made roma's kitchen style stick around right after this intro Take it up, pay up, pretend, look your wall, live a restaurant and come down, man, bang, book, cook, eh, recipe book. So I have eight wings here, and these are four drums and four flats. I've washed them with some lemon and water, and now I'm just going to be seasoning them. So to season, I have here two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, and a pinch of salt. Now to this, I'm going to be adding in one tablespoon of my jerk marinade because this is spicy plus it has loads of other blended seasoning. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to be rubbing the seasoning all over the wings and you want to ensure that when you do this, each piece of wing is nice and coated with all the seasoning goodness because this is smelling so good already. So you do not want to fry these right away so what I'll be doing is I'll just be leaving mine for about two hours but you can let it rest for just about 30 minutes before you actually fry it because you want all this seasoning goodness to soak in your wings so I'm just going to move on to making my sorrel sauce. Now for the sauce you'll need one cup of sorrel puree. So I'm just going to be adding that one cup of sorrel puree to my blender. Next I'll be adding in a half cup of ketchup and you can use your favorite ketchup. Next I'm going to go in with a third cup of sugar and I'll be using some granulated sugar. You can use brown sugar if that's what you have. Next I'm going to go in with three inches of ginger. This recipe calls for ginger guys. Next, I'm going to go in with two cayenne peppers. I wish I had some scotch bonnet peppers, but I haven't seen those in a while. Next, I'm going to be adding in a 1 8 cup of red wine. And if you have rum, guys, you can add a teaspoon or two of rum in this. Now, I'm just going to be covering everything and I'm just going to be blending until everything is nice and smooth. So after blending for a while, I'm just going to be adding 1 8 cup of sorrel and this is unsweetened sorrel that I'm adding here and it's just to help with it not being too thick. So now I'm just going to be blending again until everything is nice and smooth. And then after a few minutes, this is my sorrel sauce. I'm going to be resting this to the side. Then I'll be checking back on my wings. So to fry the wings, you're going to need one and a half cups of flour, a pinch of salt, black pepper and cayenne pepper, and some all-purpose seasoning. To get your flour nice and spiced, then you're going to need two eggs for the egg wash. And if you do not have eggs, you can use milk or you can even use some water. Now you just want to whisk everything together, the flour mixture and also whisk your eggs nicely, beat them. So after getting all this done, it's now time to coat your wings. So I'm just taking a flat hair, I'm going to be adding it to my egg wash. You just want to ensure that your wing is fully covered in the egg wash. You drain the excess egg, then you're going to be adding this to your flour mixture. To just coat your wings properly so you just want to shake off your wings shake off any excess flour and then you just want to add that to a clean plate and then I'm just going to do the same thing for the drums and the rest of the wings. So 
so these are my wings nice and coated and now I'm just going to prepare these to fry I have two cups of corn oil here over medium heat and I'm just going to allow this to heat up a little and then I'm just going to start frying my wings so this is ready now and I'm going to be adding all eight pieces of my wings in at once and you want to ensure that your pot is over medium heat you do not want the oil too hot and then at the beginning and then your wings burn so now I'm going to leave these in for 12 minutes in total six minutes on each side you want to fry them until they're nice and golden brown and ensure that they're nice and crispy So it has almost been 12 minutes and my wings are now nice, crispy and ready to be smothered in that soil sauce but here I removed most of the oil from the pot because I'll be cooking the soil sauce just a little. So after adding all this to my pot, I'm just going to be constantly moving this around, constantly stirring this for about 5 minutes just to ensure that it doesn't stick to the pot it doesn't burn because the ketchup is in this so this will thicken really quickly and this will burn if you do not move it around in the pot So if you love sorrel, you'll really love this because I'm loving the smell of the soil right now and the ginger. So I'm just going to keep moving this around just for a few more minutes. So that's about it for my sauce. I'm going to be turning the stove off and here I'm just adding each piece of wing to my sauce ensuring that it is well coated in this sorrel sauce goodness. And you do not want to leave these in your pot for them to get soggy so you just try to use a spoon to coat each piece very well and then you just remove them from your pot so this is the finished product my wings are well coated in that soil sauce goodness this is looking good and this is tasting even better this is just a new and different way for you to use your soil this Christmas this is Roma's Kitchen Sweet and Spicy Soil Wings. So if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on. Until next video.